Who said you had to go to college to have a successful life? Despite what your parents say, school isn't everything. All you need is some genius common sense, the will to learn, and curiosity to know why. So, please be sure to stay with us until the end of this video to expand your knowledge. In the year 1856, Nikola Tesla was born in the tiny village of Smiljan, Croatia. Even as a child, he was able to solve integral and advanced calculus mentally. Though his teachers were suspicious of his skills, he was just excellent. Tesla attended the Technical University of Graz, where he studied math and physics, and the University of Prague, where he studied philosophy. He was a good student who participated in arguments. However, he spent the next six years of his life thinking about electromagnetic fields and a hypothetical alternate current engine. His thoughts consumed him, and he was unable to concentrate on his studies. Tesla, however, became a gambling addict, lost all of his tuition money, dropped out of school, and suffered a nervous breakdown. In 1881, he was wandering through a park until he had a vision. Tesla sketched a rough schematic in the mud with a stick in the park, a motor based on the theory of rotating magnetic fields formed by two or more alternating currents. Later that same year, Tesla moved to Paris and began working for the Continental Edison Company, fixing DC power plants. In 1884, Tesla relocated to New York and worked as an engineer at Thomas Edison's Manhattan headquarters. He stayed for a year, impressing Edison with his hard work and inventiveness. Edison once informed Tesla that if he could improve the design of his DC dynamos, he would pay him $50,000. Within a few months, Tesla had indeed improved upon Edison's motors. However, Edison refused to pay up. All Edison said was, one can enjoy an American joke and become a full-fledged American, then pay you. Hmm, a little suspicious, Mr. Edison. Tesla immediately resigned because Edison was not fair. However, it wasn't long before news realized that Tesla's AC motor was worth investing in, and the Western Union Company hired Tesla to work in a lab near Edison's office. There, Tesla constructed AC power systems. Tesla secured backers to support his study into alternating current after. He was given more than 30 patents for his discoveries in 1887 and 1888, and he was invited to speak to the American Institute of Electrical Engineers about his work. George Westinghouse, the inventor who had built the first AC power system in Boston and was Edison's main adversary in the Battle of the Currents, was drawn to Tesla's talk. Convinced, Tesla was hired by Westinghouse, who licensed his AC motor patents and provided him with his laboratory. Tesla invented electric oscillators, meters, improved lighting, and the Tesla coil, a high-voltage transformer, in the 1890s. Together, Tesla and Westinghouse lit the 1891 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago and teamed up with General Electric to erect AC generators at Niagara Falls, resulting in the world's first modern power plant. With his innovative electrical generators and motors, Nikola Tesla kickstarted the modern world. Tesla had 80 patents in the United States for technology that underpins radio and television transmission, cell phones, radar, fluorescent and neon lighting, x-rays, robots, and remote guiding systems, igniting a new industrial revolution. Tesla envisioned his technologies, particularly AC electricity, as having a positive impact on people's lives. He sought to deliver safe electricity to the masses to make industrial workers' life simpler at work and to light up their houses so they could study in the evenings to improve themselves. Although he died mentally troubled in 1943, Nikola Tesla, the man who invented the 20th century, represents the best human spirit, scientific, and imaginative investigation to improve people's lives.